let's work through problem 51a this has us graphing various costs students actually struggle with this topic quite a lot when i test on it and it can be a little tricky but let's work through this together and see how we do for each of the following costs prepare a rough graph that illustrates the cost behavior the y-axis will be cost and the x-axis activity level. This is a very normal thing to do in a management accounting class. Just figure out what costs look like. So the first one, cost of a cell phone plan. The plan charges a flat rate of $10 a month for unlimited calling and texting and $5 a gigabyte for data. Okay, so what is that going to look like in terms of a graph? Well, at minimum, we're paying $10 a month. So there's a fixed cost element to this. So it's going to start here. It doesn't start from zero. I'm always curious if the cost starts from zero. It's going to start somewhere up the axis. And the more data you use, the more you pay. So it's going to look something like that. So that's A. On to B. Cost of plastic used in manufacturing small garbage bins. Each bin takes 600 grams of plastic. So I'm imagining a little desk, you know, garbage can that might be sitting beside a desk because 600 grams is not much. Um, uh, so uh, for each bin, you need more plastic. And I would think the plastic will be you know, linearly related to the bin. The more bins, the more plastic. If we make zero bins, zero plastic, but it just goes up from there. Now, don't compare these two and say, oh, the slope of this line is steeper than that one. These are just rough graphs, right? They're, they're meant to sort of just be a high level view of the cost. Cost of rent on an automotive parts manufacturing factory. The activity is the number of good parts produced. Well, my landlord doesn't get to see how busy I am before they charge me rent. They go, oh, you're really busy. I'm going to jack up the rent. No, no, no. Rent is fixed, right? The rent is whatever it is. Let's say it's a big facility. It's $20,000 a month. Um, it doesn't matter if I make one part or a thousand parts, the rent is the same, right? It, it doesn't make a difference. So this is a fixed cost and it will graph out something like that, a straight line. D, cost of professor salaries to teach introductory accounting. Cost is $5,000 per class section. Sections have a maximum size of 50 students. The university has uh, between 120 and 220 students enrolled in the course at any given time. And so this is a classic example of a step fixed. If I have zero to 50 students, I gotta pay one professor $5,000. Uh, 50 to 100 students, I gotta pay two professors. The total is 10,000, three, uh, you know, 150 to uh, 200 students, whatever the number is, right? It, it just steps up every, you know, additional section, you gotta add an additional professor and you gotta pay that additional salary amount. So it ends up looking like a big staircase in terms of the cost and we call that a step fixed and lots of costs behave that way where you just clear a threshold and then oh all of a sudden you gotta double your cost essentially um d or e rather staffing costs at a pipe manufacturer each employee can make 10 pipes a day and is paid a salary of 80 dollars a day Activity is the number of pipes ordered per day. Okay, so we can we have a capacity of 10 pipes per employee. And the idea is, well, if I need more uh, pipes than 10, I got to bring in more employees. So for the first 10, I'm just bringing in the one person paying $80 a day. And as soon as I get up to 20 pipes, I got to bring in a second employee, 80 bucks for them, th uh, 30 pipes, 40 pipes, and so on. And this is almost like our step fixed. The only difference here is the steps are a little bit smaller. Uh, and so we would call this a step variable cost. It has more of the characteristics of a variable than a fixed cost, but very, very similar to our step fixed. The just difference is the scale. Um, F cost of a private jet rental. Oh, this is a problem I run into all the time, renting private jets as I do. Uh, um, the cost is $500 per hour for the first four hours. I think that's a ridiculously low number. I, I've uh, recently, my TikTok is, is, provides me with private jet videos, which I, I'm not the market for this, but I, I do watch them. So obviously TikTok knows I'm interested in them. Um, it, there's no way it's $500 an hour. Anyway, whatever. Uh, the cost in this pretend example is $500 an hour for the first four hours and then $300 an hour thereafter. Okay, so um, 
the cost is fixed or it's it's five hundred dollars per hour for the first four hours so the cost starts at zero right i don't have to pay anything if i don't rent the jet after one hour it's 500 after two hour a thousand after three hours uh 1500 and after four hours 2000 it's going up from zero and then it gets cheaper actually 300 dollars per hour thereafter means the slope of my line it doesn't go down the slope of my line reduces so this is what i would expect from my students sort of a straight line maybe i should make this line a little straighter straight line up from the axis and then sort of a kink right there right there's sort of a, a, a cutoff where the slope decreases because my hourly rate decreases g the cost of a rental car cost is a flat fee of 50 dollars a day uh and the first 40 kilometers are included then 50 cents per kilometer after the first 40. okay so the cost is fifty dollars we're driving along we're driving along we're driving along then we hit some threshold where once we go over we got to pay per kilometer and it goes like that and there we have it we have completed problem 51a as always thanks for watching and if these videos help i hope you'll help me with a thumb or a sub all right have a great day see you in the next video bye bye the next video in our series is right up here, and if you want a supercut of all of the videos in this series, that's the one down below.